Hey lovelies, this is Sims Fallon. Welcome to episode 16 of Niche Warrior Cats with Blossom Clan. How is everyone going? Are you guys ready to jump in to yet another episode of this very, very, very dramatic journey? I do realize we don't have a whole heap of nichelings going on and that is exactly why it has been dramatic the past few episodes. We have had siblings breeding to keep the tribe alive and one of you lovelies made such a heart-wrenching but beautiful point in the last episode saying that maybe Sorry, hold on a second. <coughs> oh jeez. <sighs> I had a lot to eat and drink and I feel kind of dead and about to explode. But okay, let's keep going. So, one of you lovelies made an amazing point in the last episode saying that it was truly a blessing that Red Kit was born and you were thinking Star Clan. You said maybe Star Clan actually blessed or recognize the sacrifice that Dostar and Copperhunt made in becoming mates and uh, rewarded them for thinking of the clan before their own needs and actually staying together and still trying to have healthy kids even though they were having so many infertile ones and just struggling. So I really liked that point. I felt like it really resonated with what was happening with them and I'm happy that we ended up getting Red Kit as well guys. So okay, in the last episode, we started moving this way and pushing the boundaries of the frontier. In this episode, we're going to continue that work that Copperhunt kind of... I, I don't know, started... I think it's more Pastel Star. Pa Pastel Star went ahead and decided to push that initiative a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and continue that. We have our Medicine Cat Bloom Pelt and her newest apprentice, Acorn Paw. And yeah going over here and trying to do their best to uncover the frontier and be here in case anything interesting happens. Copper Hunt is also approaching the end of his lifetime. He's been training up his daughter Swan Kit to see how she does, I mean Swan Paw, sorry. Training her up to see how she goes and I think things are going pretty okay for now. Oak Kit, still sickly, infertile. I don't think he's going to be able to be trained by Bloom Pelt but we actually have... Hold on a second, I almost forgot this beautiful little warrior cat down here. We have Coco Wind who became a warrior in the last episode so that was quite exciting and I think she is going to go on and take Oak Kit as an apprentice and I think we're gonna send Oak Kit over because there's no way Bloom Pelt is gonna be able to train up Acorn Paw in her life and I think I am actually going to wait though before we have um yeah we're gonna wait for Bloom Pelt to probably pass away before we have Coco Win start training Oak Kit because as you guys said not too long ago we can only have three medicine cats at a time so okay ah <sighs> let's get the nichelings moving and I do want to start moving these nichelings away now the queen Falcon Eye she's been doing an amazing job as a queen she is going to be staying in the nursery within two tiles of this nest that Dostar died in until the kits are old enough to leave once that happens then she's going to catch up with the less less with the rest of the clan are already starting to move this way. So, okay, let's jump here. He can't attack, darn it, okay. Well, um, we'll get him to jump. Hmm, hmm, this is tough. We'll get him to jump in this way, right? I mean, direction. And we'll get Acorn Paw to jump over here. And Bloom Pelt is going to jump. Oh, geez, okay, this is tough, this is tough. Ah. She's going to jump, I think, in this direction so that she doesn't get sick by those two lovelies. So, okay, we have them moving there. And I'm so sorry if I sound tired or exhausted. I just drank a whole heap. So I, I do feel very exhausted. My stomach's about to burst. I had, like a re I had Indian food with my dad and then I had really nice, um, like, choc banana drink. And then... Not even an hour later, <laughs> we wanted to have more drinks, so we had a watermelon and strawberry drink. And I am absolutely bursting. It was amazing, but I am bursting. Okay, let's see. We'll move. I've been keeping Ripple Foot here because of the amazing food that we have to gather, and I'm kind of loath to, to get him to go away, so I don't think I'll ever be able to say goodbye to him. And I think Coco Wind was also here to heal him up because he got knocked by a coconut. And actually, I should have moved him out of the way, darn it. I'll try the next time around. I'll move him out. 
and Cocoa Wind, we're gonna get her to jump this way, collect a nut, wonderful. And I think what we wanted was Pastel Star to actually head this uh, movement that they're having over here. So she's actually going to jump in this direction. And then, hmm, she can't jump there. She might just, oh, this is gonna be tough. Well, I think we'll just get Pastel Star. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, this is tough. We don't have a deputy after her. Foo, foo. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Okay, so Lily Kit is also young. She's infertile but healthy. Red Kit is infertile but healthy. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is actually get Lily Kit when she becomes a poor to become apprentice to Ripplefoot. And I think that is what I'm gonna do so that she can become a warrior because Ripplefoot is a warrior. So she'll get trained by her older brother and then hopefully we can start getting more nichelings that are eligible to actually be deputies. But okay, we'll get her to just not get rid of that knight. Hopefully that's gonna serve as a little bit of protection to her. And we'll get a copper hunt to clear these grasses. Oh geez, they're not gonna focus too much on food if they can because I don't want them to be focusing on that okay and then I'll get Falconeye to collect some berries around here while she looks after the kits wonderful okay there we go we'll get Lily Kit to jump this way and Red Kit can also jump out and yeah okay I'm gonna have Lily Kit kind of play as close to Ripplefoot as possible but okay we're gonna keep them there Let's get the nichelings moving, shall we? We are really hoping that we are going to come across nichelings over here while we're trying to expand the territory. But we're going to have to see how that works. Nobody has perfect, um, like, compatibility as far as I'm aware. Actually, no, I think they do. Some of the siblings are compatible. No, they're not, because all the ones who are sick, the K communities, they're actually infertile. Yep, never mind, never mind. Okay, well, let's see what we can do here, shall we? We need, okay, we have an apprentice over here. So we will get Oak Kit to stay here. I'm gonna get, oh geez, this is gonna be tough. Well, I'll get Oak Kit to jump this way. Bloom Pearl can jump between them. She can do her healing purr and then she can jump swiftly out of the way. Meanwhile, Okit is going to uncover this bit of grass. We'll have Acorn Paw actually jump. Um, where can he jump? He'll clear this grass and then he'll jump in this direction so that he's not getting anyone sick again. Okay, wonderful. And then let's see. Over here, Swan Paw is going to be sent ahead. Actually, no, Pastel Paw is going to clear these pieces of grass. And then she is going to... I don't want it to jump anywhere that's going to be dangerous. She's going to stick there because it's safe. She's got a nut there, so hopefully she doesn't get knocked. She's going to dig a little bit over here. And I think we're going to send Swan Paw. She's actually going to uncover this bit of grass, and we're going to send her in this direction. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. And then over here, ooh, what can we do? Is he going to get that mole? He's gonna grab this mole and then jump out of the way so that he doesn't get knocked. Okay, that's pretty good. I don't know if like food lying around actually draws nichelings, like wandering nichelings. I don't know if that, hopefully that is the case because that would be pretty interesting to see any wandering nicheling that decides to come by. Okay, and then we have no sickly nichelings here. Ripplefoot is actually fully healed, which is awesome. So I'm excited about that. Coco Wind, you are going to actually kind of skim along the coast. Again, she is a fully capable medicine cat, and she's going to start... Oh look, there's also fish here. Oh, that's nice. I don't think she can fish, unfortunately, but still, I'll get her to come this way. And everyone has moved over there. We just have this portion of the tribe left. Now, Ripplefoot, I don't want him to be near the coconut tree anymore. <laughs> I don't want him to be there. So what I'm gonna do, can he fish actually? He can't fish. 
Well, I'll get him to stick here, grab what food he can, and start wiggling his way down. I do realize that he spent a lot of his life here and he might not even want to move. So I, I don't want to force him. I am loath to um, force him to move from there. But the others definitely will be catching up. Except for Lily Kid. She's going to stay behind and become Ripplefoot's apprentice when the time does come. Okay, Falcon Eye is going to collect some berries. And then she's going to jump in this direction. We'll have Lily Kid jump over here. And I think Red Kid is going to play a little bit with this peaceful bear. So there we go. We have that going on. Everyone has moved around quite a bit. And let's turn the day and see what we get. Oh, jeez. Oh, Copper Hunt died. Oh, no. Well, guys, looks like Copper Hunt died. We were expecting that, but that still took me by surprise for some reason. Copper Hunt died. So sad. So sad. Okay. Okay. And now Lily Kit is Lily Pool. So she's going to get an orange gemstone. She is going to get the suffix poor, Lily Poor. And wonderful. She's going to become apprentice to Ripplefoot and she's going to start her training pretty soon. First thing she's going to do is come on down here, I think, where it's easy for Ripplefoot to um, teach her things. So there we go. So she is going to meet Ripplefoot. Probably not for the first time. I mean, they are siblings and they are part of the same clan, but. This is the first actual conversation she's going to have with Ripplefoot as his apprentice. And, uh, okay, let's see what we have going on. Pastel Star still has four days. Still has four days. And Swanpaw is, was still in the middle of a training. She's got two days until she ages up. But as long as they get trained, even for a day, I say that they actually will graduate and become a warrior. So we'll have to see how that works out because Oakit has not had any training. He has not had any training. Huh. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. But, oh, look at that. Acorn Paw has grown up. Holy cow. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. Okay. Acorn Paw has grown up. He needs a, a proper name now, a proper warrior name. So I'm going to give him the inverted gemstones. And. Yeah, he's graduated. He is. Holy cow, he's graduated. So now we officially have three medicine cats. We have Bloom Pelt, Coca Wind, and now we have Acorn Paul, who's about to get his warrior name. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to check out some of the suffixes you guys have left me to see what would be appropriate for Acorn Paul. Okay. Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. Okay, I kind of see one that I like. I feel like this suits Acorn Paul, especially because he, he spent a lot of time kind of running about and making sure, you know, he was keeping his distance. Like, you know, jumping into heel and then jumping out. So I kind of want to name him Dash. Acorn Dash. Yeah. There we go. So welcome to the adult world, Acorn Dash. This is him. Let me know what you guys think about his name. I am very happy with it. But okay, let's get going. Now, Acorn Dash can work in unison with the other two. Um, and he is now responsible as well for keeping Oak Kit kind of, you know, alive and, and happy. <laughs> okay, so Oak Kit unfortunately is not going to be able to become an apprentice to anyone until Bloom Pelt has passed on because, again, we can only have three medicine cats at a time. So we'll have to see how that works out. But he can spend his time actually gathering some berries and stuff. So he's going to stay here, Bloom Pelt. But that's the thing, Acorn Dash has to stay close to one of the other medicine cats at all times so that they can constantly keep him healed. So we're going to get Bloom Pelt to jump back here. Acorn Dash is going to stay where he has been staying so that, again, he doesn't get anyone sick. Um, okay, I think those are all the sickly nichelings. So we only have two currently, Oak Kit and Acorn Dash. Okay, well, let's get little Swan Paw to collect that piece of food and clear the grass there. And then Pastel Star can jump this way and help clear the grasses here. And we'll get Cocoa Wind to do the same in this direction. Wonderful, wonderful. Look at that. We've made quite a bit of headway, which I'm quite excited about. And let's get these Nichelings to get moving. 
over here. Ripplefoot, I doubt, guys, is going to move from here. He's just... Look at him. He's surrounded by resources, and this is definitely going to help out the tribe. I mean, we don't always have to keep all the nichelings moving. Sometimes, some nichelings, it just makes sense to them to be attached to a certain place and have to, and like stay there. Especially for Ripplefoot, because he is actually going to age up. I mean, he's already aged up, but you know. He, all these food that he's gathering, all this food, is probably going to come in really handy to us when we're in an emergency. Which we aren't in now, so... You know, we're not too worried about it, but I do feel as though we should keep an open mind when it comes to those things. But okay, Red Kit is going to jump in this direction. There we go. There we go. Slowly wiggle towards where the rest of the clan is. Hmm, it's just still got a, quite a while to go. But okay, let's see. So I think everyone's been moved around. Let's turn the day and see what we get. I am really hoping that we're going to come across another niche link. Some of you lovelies did give the idea of scouting, but again, I don't know who, who we're going to send to scout. Everyone we have is so precious. We have, you know, the queen who is supposed to be looking after the kits. We have Ripplefoot who's gathering food for us. We have, I guess we could send one of the medicine cats, but again, I have discussed this in the past in that you have to have a leader next to you to bring someone in because warriors are supposed to attack whoever they come across. Now, I don't know what the rule is for medicine cats, but medicine cats are supposed to be normally confined healing fruits if they find that, which we haven't found any, so the medicine cats are constantly moving. Who knows? Maybe we should send one of the medicine cats on like a scouting journey. Not too sure. You guys let me know. Um, when you guys do leave suggestions like this, then, you know, feel free to let me know what niche things, um, as well you guys have in mind for that thing. So when you guys said scouting, you left it open to me, which I'm very thankful for because that gives me space as a creator and a storyteller to decide which niche thing is going to go ahead and do these things. But uh, I'm letting you know now, I'm kind of stuck. Like, everyone's so precious in trying to expand the territories. Who should we go ahead and, you know, call? What should we do? And let's see, I'm actually going to get Oak Kit. That's the thing with these two though, they have to stick together. And they need someone else to heal them, it's just easy if that happens that way. Okay, and then we'll get... Hmm, hmm. Okay, we'll get Oak Kit to jump this way. Acorn Dash, one, he's got two moves. Two, three. There we go, wonderful. And then over here, we're going to get Cocoa Wind to jump in this direction. Clear this grass and clear that grass. Pastel Star is gonna jump over here. Oh, well, there's a bunny bar on this direction. And Swanport is going to jump after Pastel Star. And I think she's gonna get a little bit of training from Pastel Star as well. Oh, look, they found a new nest. That's cool. Okay, so normally what we do, we like to constantly keep moving the nurseries just so that, um, I personally like working that way just so that the, the clan is constantly moving because when you do start and establish a nursery, I feel like you're kind of confined to that space um, and it's harder to get the nichelings moving towards the frontier and, you know, keeping up with the space that needs to be explored. So I like moving the nurseries whenever or having kits or making couples whenever we find a nest or in that area because, you know, that is the newest area we've jumped into and we still probably have a whole lot of exploration to do around that place. So by the time all the kits have aged up, um, they can move on to the next bit without, you know, coming all the way from here. So, I don't know, that's just a little bit of uh, explanation. But now that we've found a nest, actually, we need to start thinking about who's compatible with who. Now, currently, we don't have a whole heap of nichelings that can breed. Pastel Star, she never got her blessings from Starberry, which not all leaders may do that. So I don't know guys, but she never got her blessings from Starberry. Hmm. But that's the thing, they also have to be young enough to actually go there, which I overlooked that. I, I was so focused on trying to get new blood, I didn't think about getting her blessings. Hmm. Who would she be compatible with? Who is anyone compatible with? D and H, H and B. Hmm. I do want to breed Pastel Star though. D and H. D and H. 
D and H, H and B. Who knows, guys? We might just end up breeding Ripplefoot and, um, yeah, and Pastel Star and see what happens there. They might not, because I, I don't think they're related. Are they related? I don't think they're related. They're not. Yeah, they're not. She is actually his aunt. So, who knows? I think we just might have to do that, guys. Now, that is slightly scaring me because they only have a 25% chance of actually having a cat face nicheling. But uh, we might just have to do that. Yeah. Just because we actually have no other way to keep the nicheling numbers up, and we have to keep the nicheling numbers up at every, you know, cost. At any cost. So okay guys, with that said and done, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye.